Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope that everyone is staying safe and sound in this pandemic and I hope that everyone is ready to study today. I know I'm ready to teach but first if you like what you see please click the like button please hit that bell notification and please subscribe you know I'm hoping to to get at least a hundred subscribers by the end of this month and I'm sure with your help that we can all accomplish that okay so um, yesterday I did about verb tenses past present and future today we're going to be focusing on business idioms now Remember, today is an intermediate video. I've had some people ask me some questions previously about business idioms and what they mean. So I found this lesson that I had done previously at school, and I said, okay, well, let me do this lesson. It's going to be a short lesson, but um, for those of you who are lucky enough to... to uh, be working right now, um, you know, this would be good for you. And for those of you who are not working right now, it'll still be good for you for when you go back to work, which I know that we're all going to do eventually. Okay, so match the idioms with the meanings and then translate the idioms. So these are all business idioms. Okay, I forgot to show you the top, the top, but okay, so there are five of them. Now, we're going to go over them together and you're going to have to do the translation. Now, just be careful because, like I said with idioms, uh, my students, some of my students call them idiot sayings because they don't actually mean what they say. So, for example, to be given the green light, okay, so if you're given the green light, what do you do? When you have a green light, when you're stopped at a stop sign, uh, a light, and you get a green light, you go. Okay, so this means to receive approval. Okay, so the translation means that it's okay for you to, to do what you say you're going to do. Okay, to flog a dead horse. Okay, now what happens when you flog a dead horse? Nothing happens. Okay, so basically it's a waste of effort. So it means that you're trying to do something that is not worth your time, so don't even bother. That's what it means. So that's D, waste of effort. Okay, to get a hold of, okay, which uh, doesn't really mean holding, but it means to contact, okay? Just like in, in phones, to get a hold of something means to contact them, whether it's by email or text or phone, okay? To go through the roof. Now, nothing really goes through the roof. Otherwise, you know, you'll be in, in bad shape if it did. But it means to increase a lot. So they usually use this for pr pr prices or sales. If they go through the roof, then they may increase a lot. That's A. And to keep up to date. Okay, so most people use this term when they're, talk when they're watching news or something like that. It means to stay well informed. So you know what's going on now. That's why many people watch the stimulus videos on YouTube because they want to know what's going on as of today not as of last week because things change day to day okay so circle the correct answer so how is the new project going so great so remember it's a new project so, I couldn't get a hold of anybody, doesn't make sense. It's gone through the roof, doesn't make sense because it didn't start yet. 
So the correct answer would be C, it's being given the green light. Means you can proceed. Okay. Number two. How's that new project going? Bad. So the key word is bad. Okay. Uh, the only one that makes sense is we're flogging a dead horse. Because not getting through to anyone is not bad, means you haven't gotten through yet. But Bad would be flogging a dead horse. Means a waste of time. Okay. Why do you read so many business magazines? <clears throat> so, as I was saying before about the news, the, the best answer would be to keep up to date. You know, you want to know what's going on as of today, not as of last week. Okay. Keep on trying. It's imperative. So that means that you did tried something first time and it didn't happen, so you got to try again. So to get a hold of him today, okay? So sometimes you don't, you call someone, you don't get a hold of them, but then you could try again. So it's not necessarily a bad thing, it just means that you haven't contacted them yet, okay? Everyone's worried about the price of petrol. They think... Okay, so when gas goes up, what do you think? Okay, C, it's going to go through the roof. Because it's going to be, the price is going to increase a lot. Okay. We can't start work on the new project until. So the key word is can't start until. So you can't start until it's given a green light. So it's been given the green light. I attend a lot of conferences in order. But why would you attend conferences? To keep up to date. Okay. I need to talk, talk to Nigel. I've been trying to get a hold of him all day. So it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's not necessarily a good thing. It's neutral. So we use these terminologies, good, bad, and neutral. So if you call someone and you don't get in touch with them, it's not necessarily bad, nor is it good. It's neutral. However, when you're given the green light, that's great. So it's positive. Uh, you know, when you're flogging a ho dead horse, that's bad, which is negative. So we have categories of positive, negative, and neutral. I will be going over some um, phrases that are positive, negative, or neutral. You know, it's always a good idea to know which ones are good to use and which ones are bad to use and which ones it's basically okay to use. If you have any other business idioms that you don't know their meanings, you know, please uh, comment and I will explain to you what they mean. But try not to look this up in the dictionary because when you translate, it's going to translate word for word and it's not really going to make sense. Okay. So, as I said, this was going to be a short video, but someone had asked me about it. So I decided, hey, I had it, let me do it. Okay. Again, if you like what you see, okay, give me a big thumbs up. Okay. Hit that YouTube bell notification so that you'll be notified when I put my videos up. Like I said, I generally put up videos between three and four every day. Now, sometimes I'll do more than one video in a day, but I don't generally post until the next day. Again, please subscribe. You know, I'm getting closer to my goal of reaching 100 subscribers at the end of the month. The best thing you could do for me is to not only subscribe, but share these videos with other people. You know, maybe they're interested, maybe they're not. You know, my goal is to share with people 
And, you know, if they like what they see, they contact me or, you know, if you're looking for, you know, some private lessons or you're looking for uh, a private teacher or something like that, you know, my goal is, you know, to help everyone out. I thank you and stay safe.